Hi, I'm Mick Falco, founder and chief medical officer of On Pharma. And after practicing general dentistry for the last 20 years in Monterey, California, I was very frustrated with local anesthetic. My three main frustrations were, number one, injection pain. Number two, failure and variability of anesthetic. And number three, and most importantly, is onset time. And our solution to that is onset, precision buffering of local anesthetic. In order to maximize precision buffering, use the onset approach. The onset approach is buffering every injection, staying with your patient, and going right to work. So using the onset approach will benefit your patients as well as your practice. Patients will appreciate that you stay with them throughout the procedure, which will show that you value their time. Predictable anesthesia will reduce the stress in your practice and allow for a more natural workflow that your staff will love. And you'll be able to achieve at least an hour of extra production time. To ensure your success using the onset approach, the following video will take you through the steps necessary for precision buffering. This video will show you how to easily and precisely mix two parenteral solutions using On Farmer's mixing pen and cartridge connector. The mixing pen is easy to use and conveniently provides a method for clinicians to precisely and safely compound two parenteral solutions via a sterile fluid path. The mixing pin is comprised of two main parts, the body, which contains the volume dial and dispensing components, and the cartridge chamber, which houses a 3 milliliter cartridge. When used with a cartridge connector, the pin and connector create a sterile fluid path for connecting the 3 milliliter cartridge with a 1.8 milliliter cartridge inserted into the connector. The mixing pin has a precision volume dial for dispensing solution at a microliter level. The positive pressure achieved by pushing the dispensing button not only moves fluid from one cartridge to the other, it also simultaneously pushes excess fluid from the 1.8 milliliter cartridge to a holding reservoir. Prior to loading each new 3 milliliter cartridge into the pen, unscrew the body from the chamber and check to see if the internal piston is fully retracted. If it's not fully retracted, grip the red reset mechanism with your thumb and forefinger and rotate the pin counterclockwise until the piston rod is fully retracted and stops. Then insert a 3 milliliter cartridge into the small end of the pin's chamber with the septum entering first and screw the pin back together. After loading a new 3 milliliter cartridge into the pin's chamber, you must prime the pin by moving the piston forward until it contacts the rubber plunger on the 3 milliliter cartridge. To do this, turn the volume dial to any number and gently push the dispensing button until you feel the piston rod make contact with the rubber plunger. You may need to repeat this step. You'll know that the piston rod is against the rubber plunger when the dispensing button stops before reaching zero. Then turn the volume dial back to zero before using the pin to mix the solutions. Remove a disposable cartridge connector from its sterile packaging and carefully remove the safety cap. Don't try to twist or unscrew the cap. It can be easily removed by pulling it straight off. Align the arrow on the cartridge connector with the number one position on the pin's chamber and push in approximately one quarter inch until you hear a click. The number one position is where you'll insert the 1.8 milliliter cartridge before mixing. Before loading the 1.8 milliliter cartridge into the cartridge connector, check to make sure the arrow on the connector is aligned with the number one position on the pin. Then push the 1.8 milliliter cartridge straight in until you can no longer see the metal cap because it's below the edge of the mixing pin. You'll feel a slight resistance as the metal cap slides into place, which is an indication you fully seated the cartridge in the number one position, which is necessary for an effective transfer. Once the cartridge is fully seated in the number one position, grip the connector with your thumb and forefinger and turn clockwise approximately one quarter turn to the number two position. This step will lock the 1.8 milliliter cartridge in the connector. Next, push the connector forward to the number three position. In the number three position, you have established a sterile fluid path between the two cartridges. Next, 
Turn the volume dial to the desired amount of solution to be dispensed from the 3 milliliter cartridge to the 1.8 milliliter cartridge. For example, dialing the pen to the number 18 will dispense 0.18 ml from the 3 milliliter cartridge to the 1.8 milliliter cartridge. After dialing the desired amount of solution to be mixed, depress the dispensing button straight in to mix solutions. To remove the 1.8 milliliter cartridge after mixing, first grasp the connector with your thumb and forefinger and pull straight out approximately one quarter inch to the number two position. Note that in the number two position, the 1.8 milliliter cartridge is still locked in the cartridge connector. Second, turn the connector counterclockwise approximately one quarter turn back to the number one position. This unlocks the 1.8 milliliter cartridge from the connector. Grasp the 1.8 milliliter cartridge and pull it straight out from the connector. The connector remains in the pin at the number one position. When the 1.8 milliliter cartridge is ready to be used, be sure to inspect it in order to rule out bubbles, particulates, or discoloration. Do not premix solutions early in the day for later use. To determine when to change the 3 milliliter cartridge, check the pin's chamber window. When the plunger of the 3 milliliter cartridge reaches the bottom of the cartridge chamber, the 3 milliliter cartridge is empty and needs to be replaced. Another indication that the 3 milliliter cartridge needs to be replaced is if the volume dial on the pin will not dial to the desired amount of solution to be mixed. Always replace the cartridge connector at the same time you replace the 3 milliliter cartridge. To remove the cartridge connector, make sure the arrow on the connector is aligned in the number one position on the pin. Push the pointed locking levers on the sides of the cartridge connector in with your thumb and forefinger, then pull the cartridge connector out of the pen. Use caution and carefully dispose of the cartridge connector in a sharps container. To remove the used 3 milliliter cartridge, unscrew the pen and slide the used cartridge out of the pen body. Discard the used 3 milliliter cartridge. A new 3 milliliter cartridge may now be inserted. You'll need to prime the mixing pen as previously instructed when you insert a new 3 milliliter cartridge. Attach a new cartridge connector and now the mixing pen is ready to mix solutions. The mixing pin should not be sterilized in the autoclave. Clean the inside of the pin's cartridge chamber with warm soap and water using a cleaning brush. A disinfectant wipe should be used to clean the pin body. Do not spray or immerse the pin in water or other solutions as this may cause damage. Compounding solutions using the mixing pin is a single operator process that is easy to do. Once the pin is assembled, 1.8 milliliter cartridges can be mixed one at a time by following these three easy steps. Step 1. Load a 1.8 milliliter cartridge into the cartridge connector, making sure it's fully seated at position number 1. Then turn the connector clockwise one quarter turn to lock the 1.8 milliliter cartridge in the connector at position number 2. Then push in the cartridge connector to position number 3. The path to go from positions 1, 2, and 3, and then back, is shown on the pin. Step 2. Dial the desired amount of solution to be mixed with the 1.8 milliliter cartridge and push the dispensing button. Step 3. After mixing, remove the 1.8 milliliter cartridge by grasping the connector with your thumb and forefinger. Pull the connector out of the number 2 position then turn counterclockwise approximately one quarter turn to the number one position. This will unlock the 1.8 milliliter cartridge from the connector. At position number one, you can pull the cartridge out. Inspect the mixed cartridge to rule out bubbles, particulates, or discoloration. Use the mixed cartridge immediately.
If the plunger on the 1.8 milliliter cartridge pushed out during the mixing process, this is an indication that the 1.8 milliliter cartridge was not initially seated all the way into the cartridge connector at the number one position. Normally during mixing, the excess fluid from the 1.8 milliliter cartridge flows into the reservoir in the cartridge connector. However, if the 1.8 milliliter cartridge is not fully inserted and seated in the connector, the reservoir will not engage. And when you add fluid from the 3 milliliter cartridge during mixing, the excess will have nowhere to go. This causes the plunger to be pushed out of the 1.8 milliliter cartridge during the mixing process. To prevent this, when loading the 1.8 milliliter cartridge into the connector, always be sure to press the 1.8 milliliter cartridge all the way into the number one position where you'll feel a slight click. When fully seated, you can't see the metal cap on the cartridge as you look at the connector from the side. Practice with a cartridge two or three times to get the feel for this. You'll find that it becomes intuitive after a few repetitions. Also, to prevent the problem with the plunger coming out during mixing, be sure that you always load the 1.8 milliliter cartridge in the number one position. If you try to load a cartridge at the number two position, it attaches to only one of the connector's transfer tubes and the plunger will come out during mixing. Once again, when loading a 1.8 milliliter cartridge, make sure the connector is in the number one position and that the 1.8 milliliter cartridge is pushed all the way into the connector to puncture both transfer tubes. If you cannot depress the dispensing button, it's another indication that the 1.8 milliliter cartridge may not be seated correctly in the cartridge connector. Do not force the button if you are feeling resistance. This may damage the pen. Turn the connector to the number one position and remove the 1.8 milliliter cartridge by pulling straight out. Then reload the cartridge, making sure the connector is aligned with the pin in the number one position. Check to make sure the metal cap of the cartridge is hidden from view in the connector, which indicates that the 1.8 milliliter cartridge is fully seated. If you cannot remove the 1.8 milliliter cartridge from the connector, you may still be in the number two position, or you may not have rotated the connector 100% of the way to the number one position. At any point other than all the way in the number one position, the 1.8 milliliter cartridge is locked and can't be removed. First, make sure you are not at the number two or number three position. Then make sure the connector arrow is aligned with the pin all the way over at the number one position. You should then be able to remove the cartridge. If you find yourself in a situation where you have dialed the wrong volume, either too high or too low, you can easily correct this by turning the dial backward or forward to the desired volume, then depress the button to mix as normal. If the pin will not dial all the way to the number you desire, this is an indication that the 3 milliliter cartridge does not have enough solutions to mix the full amount you wish. You will need to replace the 3 milliliter cartridge. It is important to push the dispensing button straight in without pressing against the rotating dial or pressing at an angle. If the button will not depress smoothly or seem stuck, check to make sure the rotating dial is not caught in your thumb or glove when pushing in. You may also try tapping with your thumb or finger on the top of the button to move it along. Never force the button in. This may damage the pin mechanisms. For additional information, Please refer to the instructions for use provided with each product.